So you want to be a millionaire, huh? Well, you're free to join the club. As a matter of fact, almost anyone can become a millionaire. When it comes to building wealth, especially for those of us who weren't born into it, there's more to it than high paying jobs and expensive lifestyles. Here's the scoop. Simply adopting flashy habits or trying to play the crypto game won't cut it. You know why? Those approaches are like trying to run a marathon while wearing lead boots, exhausting and pointless, because they fail to acknowledge the bigger picture. Becoming wealthy is both a game of habits and mentality. The first step to building wealth is all about a mindset shift. Your mindset holds the key to unlocking your treasure chest of wealth. You need to believe that you can swim in the ocean of wealth, even if life's been throwing buckets of water at you. You've got to believe deep down in your bones that wealth isn't some exclusive club that's off limits to you. You have to recognize that you are worthy of abundance. Without that strong mentality, all those other approaches are useless. Here's what's reported. According to a recent study from the Credit Suisse Global Wealth Report, less than 9% of the people in the United States are millionaires. 80% of those millionaires hustle their way up the ladder of success. No trust funds, no silver spoons. So if you're wondering what it'll take you to be in the top 9%, especially when you don't have a trust fund named after you or a secret stash of cash, then put on your thinking cap and get ready to flex those mental muscles as we take you through a shift in gears to embrace a mindset that screams, I'm the next millionaire. First things first, you need to let go of limiting beliefs and nurture an abundance mindset. Again, it's all about believing that there's a buffet of resources and opportunities out there for everyone. Now, I know this might require a bit of intentional effort, especially if you've grown up with limited resources and felt like the wealth train passed you by. This is especially important because according to the brainiacs of Purdue University, many of our money habits are formed as early as age seven. Our thoughts about money are deeply influenced by the way people around us talked about it or behaved around it. So if you've been surrounded by people struggling to make ends meet or convinced that only a chosen few can attain wealth, it's no wonder those beliefs may have seeped into your head. But you can decide to rewire those magnificent brains of yours. You have to sift through the chaos of negative thoughts that flood your mind each day. If you don't put on your mental filter, you start believing the skeptics. And that leads to a scarcity mindset, which results in making decisions that are about as bad as it gets. So to expect abundance, you've got to do some serious thought work. Look at it like a mental gym session where you consciously pay attention to your thoughts and replace the negative ones with positive alternatives every day. You have to train your brain to see the bright side and boost your confidence in yourself, your abilities, and your financial choices. And guess what? When you start thinking positively, you'll start acting positively too. It's like a domino effect that can change your life for the better. But if you don't switch up that mindset and truly believe that you deserve abundance, you might just miss out on some big opportunities. So shatter those self-imposed limitations, kick scarcity to the curb, and embrace the idea that no matter where you're starting from, you deserve to swim in the ocean of abundance. Second, understand that money is not always bad. Now, this is important since you've probably heard the common catchphrase that money is the root of all evil. It's time to give that adage a serious reality check, especially for those who have had bad financial situations in the past. Otherwise, you'll fold your cards before the richest game really starts, because this belief frequently causes people to avoid chasing wealth. The thing is, you can genuinely put money to good use. Money can do as much good as it does harm. Remember, money is a tool. It's not inherently good or bad. It's the person who wields it that decides. So don't let fear stop you from pursuing money or the financial security you require to support yourself and fulfill your dreams. Consider what you could accomplish if you had the means to support causes important to your heart, provide for your loved ones, and achieve incredible feats in your lifetime. It's like releasing a positive force driven by your financial wealth. So get rid of those negative preconceptions and open your mind to the wonderful possibilities that money possesses. Accept the idea that you can make a difference in your own life as well as the lives of others. Rewrite the story and demonstrate that money can be a force for good. Go out there and chase those dollar bills with a purposeful heart and a mind determined to make a difference. Thirdly, to build wealth, you have to realize that a high income is not enough. Building wealth isn't just about having a hefty salary. Don't fall into the trap of thinking that a fat paycheck will automatically lead to a pile of riches. In reality, it's gonna take a bit more strategy than that. To build real wealth when you don't come from money, you've gotta be intentional about how you manage your money. You have to budget like a pro, 
manage your expenses, and yes, you guessed it, invest. Investing becomes increasingly important because as time goes by, the value of money tends to reduce due to inflation, those pesky increases in the prices of goods and services. If you want to build serious wealth, you've got to put your money to work for you to compensate for those tiny increases. Even if that means diving into the world of investments, whether it's the stock market, real estate, starting a business, or exploring other avenues that can boost your bank account. Thanks to the birth of online investment brokerage firms, investing isn't just for the wealthy or the financially savvy anymore. All you have to do is overcome any mental blocks you have about investing. To do that, envision a life where you're not solely reliant on your job for money. Now let that vision guide your actions and decisions and start investing as soon as you can afford it, even if it means it's just $50. With a mindset shift fueled by financial discipline, you can watch that small investment grow over time with the magic of compound interest. So why not embrace the power of investing and take charge of your money? Make your money work for you and watch as your wealth steadily grows. That way you can create a future filled with wealth. Before the final stretch of this video, if you're enjoying it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. Lastly, be ready to create your own path on your wealth journey. It's time to embrace the idea that creating your own path is the ultimate key to building wealth. You have to say goodbye to those cookie cutter approaches because there's no one size fits all formula for building wealth. The magic lies in your consistency and your unwavering dedication to your chosen path. So don't stress yourself out trying to conform to some imaginary standard of how wealth should be built. Sure, some people build wealth through entrepreneurship, and that's still a mighty fine route to take. It's sustainable and can lead to fast success. But guess what? It's not the only path out there. There are plenty of other ways to build wealth, like investing in stocks, diving into the realm of real estate, or even simply saving diligently so that you can lend to others. The point is, you've got options. And irrespective of the option you choose, there's one thing that holds true for all of us. Rethinking our relationship with money can greatly increase our chances of making more of it. Remember, applying these tips will not magically transform you into a millionaire overnight. That would be a bit unrealistic. But I can assure you that using them will undoubtedly benefit you on your journey to building wealth. Consider them your trusty companions guiding you along the way. So embrace your individuality, stay consistent, and keep an open mind. Who knows, the wealth you've been dreaming of might just be waiting for you around the next corner. Now go out there and create your own masterpiece of wealth. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.